Shooting USA's impossible shots. Covering the champions and the challenges that raise the shooting sports to art. Back here in Los Angeles, where before the break, you saw the uh, magic that Cisco was able to work with the scissors. Oh yeah, you're a real movie star. Thank you. Now it's time to put him to the test at the range and see what kind of magic he can work with a six shooter. All right, Cisco, big debut on Impossible Shots. You ready to go? You bet, I'm ready to get him. The name of Cisco's game is Speed. He's a two-time fastest gun alive and seems the perfect fit for the fast-paced Southern California lifestyle. Now we're at, the, we're at the Prado Shooting Complex here, which was the site of the 84 Olympics of the shooting events. And I know, of course, back in 1984, we all remember Carl Lewis at the uh, Coliseum running the 100 meter dash and everybody's talking about how he's the fastest human on earth. But you're saying this is a little bit faster, huh? I'd like to give him a run for his money because I may not run as fast, but I move real, real quick. In my opinion, this is the fastest human sport in the world. Now that is quite the statement. Let's see if Cisco can back it up as he demonstrates the four distinct styles in fast draw. First style I want to demonstrate to you is called ram fanning. This is the easiest and simplest method, especially for someone new. I've got these fingers taped up because I hit the hammer so hard that I bruise my knuckles regularly. So with that little bit of masking tape on there, it helps out a lot. What you do, set the hand. When you hear your cue to go, the light or a beep, Grab and point the gun at the target, holding the trigger down. Then it's a simple matter of fanning the gun. Alrighty, let's give you a demonstration of how this works. The timer starts at the sound of the buzzer and stops when the wax bullet hits the target. That was 38 hundredths of a second ram fanning. Now I've switched guns and I'm gonna show you a little different style. This is one you're more familiar with. This is called thumbing and it's used in almost all Western movies and TV shows. Once you're set and you get the command to go, the thumb cocks the hammer on the way out. The gun is leveled, drawed, locked up into place and fired. This style involves trigger control, unlike ram fanning, where you just merely held onto it and fanned it. Let's give this a shot. That was 36 hundredths of a second thumbing. Now we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna show you a style called slap cocking. The left hand, specifically the middle finger, cocks the gun in the holster as it's coming out. The right hand draws the gun, brings it to level, and fires. That was 32 hundredths of a second using the slap cocking method. Now I'm going to introduce you to the fastest way to draw and fire a single action revolver. Ready. This is called twisting. I pulled this holster out of my closet, polished all the dust off of it, and it's ready to go. I probably haven't used this holster in 20 to 25 years. The way twisting works, the left hand cocks the hammer while the gun's being drawn, the trigger is held down, and it's fanned. I can do this in about 25 hundredths of a second. Let's give it a go. Ready. Break it down. 21 hundredths of a second. All right, Cisco, 21 hundredths of a second. That was pretty good. But as you know, we've told you this. This is called impossible shots. So what do you have for us now? Well, I believe that using this method, I can draw and fire the single action revolver, eliminating reaction time in 10 hundredths of a second or less. 10 hundredths of a second? It is possible. For this attempt, Cisco will be using a special timer. He'll start with his index finger resting on the button. When he goes to draw, it will record his time from the draw to the shot. Cisco will be using a Ruger Blackhawk and shooting a Bussinger wax bullet. It's so fast, it's almost unbelievable. And that's just a little bit 
over four hundredths of one second to draw and fire a single action revolver. I'd say that's an impossible shot. If, I hope that's impossible enough for you. Does the hair ever get in the way? No. Good to know. Welcome to the team, partner. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. I'm, it's an honor to be here. Yeah, it's an honor for us too, Cisco. And if you ever do have a problem with that hair, well, I think you'll be able to figure out a place to go. They might even be able to uh, cut you a break. Oh, that's a real knee slapper, Brian. Thanks. Worked on it all night.